at, at Geno Smith. Uh -huh. There's not a lot of recent tape on him. How do you, like, do you go back and look at the early tape of him? Do you, do you just look at the stuff that you, the, the more recent stuff? Well, he's, you know, how long has he been with Seattle? You know, and then how many places he's played. He hadn't played a lot of plays, so we're, we're guessing a little bit in terms of uh, what they're going to do. But for the most part, I think most of you know, if we lose a guy on defense, we don't change a whole lot. Because if you change a whole lot, then everybody's got to remember something else. If somebody's got to, you got to remember, remember something else, you're going to make mental mistakes. If you make mental mistakes, it's going to screw everybody up. So I think they'll uh, try to stay with uh, what they do off that. Did you start up certain plays that Russell Wilson makes? Well, that? sure it is. I mean, this guy's an athlete. That dude's all over the place. I'm sure he had a little bit more leeway in terms of what he wants to run uh, offensively. Checks at the at the line of scrimmage, you know when he can uh, take off and when he can't take off, uh, when he keeps the ball when he runs and stuff like that. Both of them, I've seen both of them on film keep the ball. So uh, uh, you know, they I think they're going to try to run the same same offense. It's just that the, the guy before him, the guy that they had before him, probably knows the offense a little bit better and uh, uh, will take off running and have, have a little bit more leeway. In terms of uh, what they were trying to run, checks and stuff. How much does it help with the supporting cast they have around to help you know? Oh, a lot. You know, they got good running backs. They had good running backs, and you know, they got them receivers, man. They can fly. They're big people, you know, so they got our attention a little bit. So uh, it's going to be, it's not going to be an easy game for us at all. <laughs> when you get a big guy team, when uh, Brothers Porter got hurt. Uh, you guys got a touchdown. It was 28-26. They got the ball back, and Russell ran it three times. Uh -huh. yeah, I mean, do you think that was by design, or was that just him being Russell Wilson? It might be a little bit of both. I think uh, whenever he runs the ball, it's a little bit of both. They might call it sometimes. Sometimes he might do a little freelance. So is that, I mean, that improvisational ability? Is that one thing? Well, I don't know if it'll go be in with the same guy. Uh, I mean with a different guy quarterback. Right, so you, you maybe don't have to worry He's about that? He's probably going to be a little bit more by the book uh, than Russell was, I would say. Keith, what kind of problems does a big guy like Metcalf and an over-the-top guy like Lockett present? Oh, there's a Anytime you got tall guys who can run, it's always a, uh, always a problem. That's the reason you, you, like to, you, know, you like to see tall corners. <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, we like to uh, talk corners or bring them in at least, but they got to be able to run uh, because these guys can run. So uh, we got to be careful what we do in terms of uh, what we're playing and uh, uh, trying to keep our guys uh, with, uh, with a chance to be successful as much as we can. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things you can do, and, but we're not going to talk about them right now. Okay.